Hey guys, welcome back to an... I would say new, but it's the live stream! The first live stream of 2021! Okay, so let's get us some, some awesome tunes on the background, otherwise it will be so boring. Okay. So guys, it's awesome that you're all tuning in. And I was going to wait till we're going to sync a little bit, so otherwise I'm just talking to myself all the freaking time. So, I was thinking guys, 2021, uh, I've saved up a lot of packages from China. Yeah, just specially for you guys. <laughs> so it's all great to see you here in the chat. Hey Joost, Altros, Bob Duhl. Sorry, I'm mispronounce, mispronouncing names by the way. Hollywood Polo, hey, welcome to the live stream. Just going to leave the camera like this. Just like the old school leather reviews. So guys, so I wanted to do an unboxing together. I bought a lot of packages from China this time because yeah, you know, it's the Chinese New Year. So there is a little bit of a gap between ordering stuff and getting it in. So I was thinking, let's collect it and let's have some fun today. Uh, I have around 20 packages last day. A couple of them came in. So it's going to be really cool. Or I'm hoping it's going to be cool. Rich Retro Tech. He's your son, rule of oh, re oh, pronouncing these names after, <laughs> quickly after each other. Hey, Matt, Dinos, it's all awesome that you're tuning in. Yeah, thanks, guys. So, I've been a little bit naughty myself. Yep, and the reason why I already did some unboxing of some of these packages, uh, yeah, I needed to check out what of the packages came in. Um, there was a funny thing that I needed to tell you all, guys, is that this. This controller, and this is, this, I especially waited for this video or this video and live stream, is that this thing took me five months to get in. Hey, Dragos V, Dragon, Dragon, do you think it's Dragos, Dragos V, yeah, Dragos V. Big shout out to you, buddy. Uh, there's something I just want to point out. Uh, recently, I updated the, let's say I wanted to do Patreon in combination with the YouTube membership, and I didn't do any promotion whatsoever, just uploaded it, put it live, and I wanted to do making videos. I'd say later on on the channel and Dragos V already yeah back me with this so big shout out to you buddy thank you I really appreciate it because it helps me big time family clone was using 60 pin cards Rattle 9096 yeah that's a little bit of an ooh that's a very I don't really need to go back in my backlog to check out which console was a really a little bit decent to get and to use because there are a lot of shitty product out there yeah, Johnny L. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, yep. Yeah, and I think you're guessing you mean the arcade one up, or I did a lot of cabinets, by the way. But oh, uh, Aaron. Yeah, I have more like this um, stash where I basically stash everything. <laughs> yeah, retro game plus retro <laughs> super arcade emulator. <laughs> So nevertheless, uh, maybe I'm going to make a review about it. I'm just going to be honest with you, need to find time because these control reviews are mostly not the best. Uh, did know it with the views, people are not super interested in it. So need to find if I'm some extra time. Another thing that came in was the new sub. Yeah, you know, with the Chinese fake sub. But let's say it's a fake sub thing. More like a previous handheld I've reviewed on the channel. This one is very nice and orange. So just to check it out for you guys. So let's see what is going to bring us us cheap handhelds i love those things all right so the next one the family pocket okay so 2021 is going to be more like the year of the sticks the the game sticks there are so many of these freaking things so we're moving on from snes snes and sega clones playstation ripoff clones to sticks so by the way this thing's quite interesting because it's a wireless tv stick but it is not with hdmi no it's giving as the AB out version. So it's stick that is not really a stick, in my opinion. Hey Hattos, it's really cool to see all the people around the globe tuning in, man. It's really cool. Hey Casey, an Esme Vlogs. Sounds kind of Dutch, Esme, but it is maybe me. So another one is the Extreme Mini Game Box. I'm going to do an unboxing in a couple of days just to check it out here on the channel. It's more like the basic stuff that we're going to get. I did some reviews about it, like similar products, you know, they have so many different versions. To be honest, I really like these plug and play devices. I'm guessing this is the, oh, yep, there's an HDMI edition. So that's also the question. Sometimes it's just giving me an AV out, so 
I really hate the AV-out, by the way. I want to have only HDMI plug and plays because HDMI is super convenient. All right, let's see what we have more. That was my shield remote that I just fell off. Okay, so the next one is the Super Arcade Emulator. Fun fact, um, yeah, I just wanted to make a dispute about this one because I got it in and it was one of these products, I, this product I wanted to see for myself. And, <laughs> and the thing is, my analog stick is broken. So <laughs> yeah, it happens with me too. But yeah, what can you expect guys? So these things were around 15 up to $20. But the Super Emulator is not that super in my opinion. Yep. Still going to make a review about it, by the way. Hey, Sonic Love, welcome. It's awesome that you're tuning in, buddy. I'm fine, man, I'm fine. How are you, buddy? I see you are busy with uploading quite some different videos the last couple of days. Hey, Rattle1996 from Poland. It's really cool to see all those countries, all the people coming from the globe. They're all living here in the YouTube matrix. Oh, Bob Dole, I'm from the Netherlands. That's a tiny, 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 tiny one country in Europe. Sorry, I just needed to say it like that. You have a GT King, could boot, but the Sierra or Red Pi only in like with micro SD. I'm not going to make an, I'm going to, I will keep it to this, this um, live stream, just doing a little bit of an unboxing and chit chatting with you guys. Maybe I'll do a live stream with, uh, but uh, yeah, more like with some other YouTubers that can help people out with the questions because I don't want to go deep diving in these things. Hey, Mr. Smore, hello with Polo, guys, gamer. Oh man, a lot of guy. Oh man, a lot of people tuning in. That is really motivating. It's really cool. Optimus Prime, Timothy Roller. Okay, so the other one before we're going to do some unpacking. We're having an extreme mini game box. So the thing is, this is going to be an issue. So they are all calling this nowadays extreme mini game box. More like, what's up with these things? Why are they still keep, okay, it's the PK06, but still. So this is a plug and play device or a HDMI version, but it comes with these Super NES controllers with no shoulder buttons. Yeah, this is the first time I've ever seen this, by the way. Just freaking annoying, come on, man. No shoulder buttons. This is going to be 8-bit fetish people. Yep, more 8-bit stuff. Woohoo! We don't have enough 8-bit stuff. Rattle 1996, the Chinese flashcard for Game Boy. Yeah, I personally, it sounds kind of weird, but I really like the Everly stuff. It's crazy expensive, but it is high quality products. And with the Chinese flashcards, they are just cheap, sometimes loading very slow. So it's more like consideration that you need to check out on. Do I want to pay a lot of money? Get an Everdrive. Otherwise, the Chinese flashcards are not that bad. If it comes to let's say the load times and so and so on. Thanks, Scott. Awesome that you're tuning in, buddy. It's awesome that you're tuning in. So I'm going to do a little bit of an overview of the packages. I some quite interesting packages out there. So I got the normal white plastic plastic things. I even have a Grome one over there. That is the first one I ever received a Grome package from China. So that's more like my precious. <laughs> oh, so we have a lot of stuff to pack out and we're going to have a lot of fun today because there is a lot of great stuff that I've picked up a lot of different stuff like consoles you name it all kinds of stuff oh we have got one hater you're going to move this yeah it's Christmas again shadow star <laughs> oh Frank Olaf let's see I'm going to have you Patrick yeah my, my camera is in a different position so I can switch between it but and maybe later on, maybe later on. I can check my face, by the way. I still sometimes show my face. Somehow, but why are the, why is YouTube sometimes blocking stuff? That's kind of weird. Yeah, same to me, Shark. It looks nice, it looks nice. It's Christmas for Wicked. Yeah, it's my birthday. It looks like my birthday, by the way. <laughs> hey, Boxmaster, awesome that you're tuning in, buddy. It's awesome that you're doing it. So let's grab the first one. I'm very curious. Let's grab the first one over here. Let's move the camera very slowly. Otherwise it looks so choppy. <sighs> okay, so let's see what we're going to get inside. The yellow scissor. I have this thing for a couple of years. My own favorite scissors. Yeah, get it open. Get it. Be gentle. Otherwise I'm going to cut open something I don't want to cut. 
Okay, so what is inside the package? Can you guess it? Can you guess it? What's inside the package? What's can? Oh. No shadow store, I don't need help. <laughs> hey, can star can start his own iPad. No. <laughs> Steph Hola, but don't want to do that. I'm just fine packing up stuff or buying stuff, testing it out. I love it. I love reviewing. Hey Eddie Zone from Spain. Okay, so what's in package number one? Oh, hey. Get off! Okay, I'm ruining the box. Oh what? Oh it's sticky. It's sticky! Oh. Alright, so the first one is the mini game player. It's a very tiny iBit, yeah, like always, more like a slim edition. So this thing will be coming in the reviews. So I'm kind of, it looks kind of weird. On and off with the pad. No, I'm not going to unpack it, but we're going to put it on the stack of all the stuff that we're going to review. Yeah, MR more. I know, man, the action is closed. It's just, it's just annoying, man. But yeah, <laughs> just move the Chinese girl. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that would be the most epic package from China video yet. I order my wife from or my girl, my girlfriend from China, something like that. <laughs> okay, so next up, the most weird package I've ever seen. So I must say, those Chinese are super creative when it comes to these packages. It's all more like, how are they going to pack it up? Brick game from Nintendo Switch now. What? A brick game for a Nintendo Switch. What? Uh, to be honest, uh, here at computing about the keyboard, it's more like a mixed bag. And what I did notice with these uh, keyboards, when you're going to get the really cheap ones, like 50 euros, uh, 20 euros, let's call euros to be easy for myself, is that they are just horrible, cheap quality. And when you're going to get expensive one, uh, I've got myself the Aula, I'm using it for more than a year now. And it, it, it's a great keyboard, but still, if you're going to get the expensive one, the high quality ones, I can think you can rather get one like a Logitech in your own country, maybe, because they are going to get so expensive. <laughs> Bob Dool, yeah, indeed. <laughs> That's a pillow, yeah, you would say so. I can use it like a pillow. It's a little bit, uh, yeah, it's, not really hot. it's not really soft. So, okay, what, what does it say? It says here, it's a game board. Okay, so it's a game board inside the package. <laughs> what kind of game board? Oh, um, Kikai Yai. Oh, how do you pronounce your name? I'm sorry, but okay, so when I'm going to do the RG400, to be honest, I'm still behind with the handhelds. It's really, it's really annoying sometimes. It's really <laughs> motivating, man. I can't keep up with these packages because there are so many handhelds. I also call it the freaking invasion. Okay, so it's a board. It's a board. It's a board. It's a board. So let's see. Oh man, this is going to be a challenge packing it and packing it. Waka 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 waka. Right, so let's see what we're going to get. Ooh, I think I can see what it is. It comes from the cable tree. I'm always buying, you know, the Pandora's boxes with a cable tree. They're all coming handy. An animal switch. I think I'm not going to need it. How, well, why did he pack it up like this? What the heck? So this is the Pandora Saga 17 or something like that. So look at this tiny board. Look at this. For the people who are familiar with Pandora, because this board is freaking tiny. They're making it smaller and smaller, but they're not really powerful. So yeah, we'll leave it in the plastic, but that's not a big fan of it that he's going to do this like this, but okay. No, no, Kika, yeah, yeah, no, it's not that kind of packages. There are packages from China. <laughs> hey, Casey, thanks for tuning in. It's awesome that you're just tuned in, even if it was for oh, a very long time, but nevertheless. Froggy Game Frog, a lot of N64 games run not so good on the Console. Yeah, but that's a problem with N64. It's always like a mixed bag. If you're going to get yourself a beefcake PC, maybe then you're going to get everything working properly. A shadow star, by the way, you need to uh, stop using the caps lock of the shift. 
because your YouTube is keeping blocking your uh, text. <laughs> yeah, Timothy Roller. Beefcake! Beefcake! Yeah! Okay, so next up, leave this thing to here. Need to keep it with the Need to keep it with the Pandora's. All right, the next package from China. So let's see what it says. It says, oh, it says just one. Okay, that makes freaking sense. It just says one. Just the description. Oh, okay, so you're already back. Hi, <laughs> Ali, Ali Saint, or just gonna say, Mr. Saint, thank you for your compliment. Nick Hall, no, 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 no. I didn't have the new Urbanic uh, handheld. It's, I think it will take some time. Chinese New Year in combination with the release, maybe it will take at least two months to get it here. Maybe a little bit sooner, but I'm guessing around two months. Looks very cool, but the guys love the kind of handhelds, more like the Game Boy versions. Okay, so let's do a little bit of packing. Oh man, these are the most horrible ones to unpack. What can it be? <laughs> oh. Okay, so they did a very nice job, I must say. In the beginning I was always throwing with the packages and the reason why, because they can get damaged, seriously. All right, so, hmm. looks kind of interesting. What well, is it is, I can still, I can still see it. Ah. Just be creative in packing them. Waka, 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 waka. Ooh, yeah, this is what I was waiting for, my friends. This is what I was waiting for. The Pocket Go S30. I think a lot of people did really, really review about it. Like uh, Retro Game Corps did a review about it. Maybe Sonic Love. I don't know for sure, to be honest. But uh, I wanted to have this one. And by the way, that Retro Game Corps did a, like, a really great review, or an also review, but also more like an update of the software because it was very nice. Shitty when you get it. So this thing, I love this. The form factor, man. Rattle nine nine six. Um, how can I get money? Yeah, I earn some money. I have no life, no girlfriend, nothing else to do. So the only thing I do is back buy stuff from China. Yeah. And I don't have a girlfriend, so that saves a lot of money. <laughs> Wasabi, I love your channel, man. The amount of horrible consoles and else and have review mind blowing. Sometimes makes feeling about the amount of money you spend on it. Yeah, dude, I know. It's just freaking annoying sometimes. It gets pretty damn repressed with some of these the packages because I have, oh, I have spent too much money on it. I knew it, but I just want to make a review about it to warn people to see even, hey guys, see it, don't buy it. <laughs> okay. Hey Wolf Better, thank you for the two euro. Yeah man, same here, same here. I'm just a little bit in, in the mix, more like should I review the Pocket Go as it is out of the box or shall I more like update it? I will not make a review about it, I will just share the video for Retro Game Course because this video is just perfectly and uh, make me make an update video about it, so make more like two videos. At first I wanted to order two of them just to make more like side by side comparison, but I'm more like, hey, yeah, no, we're not going to do that. Because these things are not cheap. Okay, so let's grab ourselves the next one. Okay, let's put this system on the pile of stuff. Timothy Roller, thank you, $49. Highly appreciate it, buddy. Highly appreciate it. Bob Dill says, why not go to the gaming convention? I would pick our brain hours so find a girl who smell it. Yeah. I think it's not that easy. If it was so, it would, uh, would be great to have a girlfriend that has similar interest. Absolutely. I did some see some reviewers like... Was Beat'em Ups? It was a very big channel. I think he has a girlfriend but similar interest. That's pretty cool. Uh, he makes something with his girlfriend. The reviews are so cool to have somebody have similar interest. Just amazing. El Thunder. I must be honest with you guy. Um, yeah, I wish you had so many Chinese stuff. To be honest, um, don't be. Because there are a lot of stuff you don't want to have. <laughs> Oh, Chathead, absolutely, uh, Game Corps, um, I love the guy for the videos he's making, a lot of, I know it is a lot of work, extremely a lot of work for making videos like tutorials for, for, for handhelds, and I think the biggest thing that I'm having more like the biggest uh, thing that's holding me back is that there are so many handhelds coming out, so 
eventually when he having made a couple of tutorials already one or two new video versions out there so it's just so freaking annoying to keep up all right so let's see why there's more question wicked smart life uh, yeah <laughs> lol <laughs> yeah but sometimes a little bit alone yeah uh, hey sonic love whoa okay thank you for the 1999 okay <laughs> that's a very big gesture Yeah, <laughs> looking for the toilet paper. <laughs> I first wanted to make more something like, more like a toilet paper intro, more like, uh, yeah, I'll have some, some crazy ideas about it. Actually, let's grab my another one. Let's grab just a normal box this time. Oh, this one is heavy, by the way. <laughs> Sometimes your comment guys are freaking hilarious. Then I have a bad day or feeling a little bit down. I'm reading through the comments, man, that tripped me up. Like this one, more like, <laughs> maybe it's an inflatable. They said more like something in the doll or yeah, but now you're not going to <laughs> come to check it like then the live stream. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Let's put it this way. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Hey Joey Jojo Jr. Can't wait for all the new product reviews. You're my favorite channel. Ah oh, man, it's really hot. It's really awesome. I really love these positive comments. Do be honest, it gives me a lot of energy reading these comments because I'm going to be honest with you. Sometimes I'm feeling more like in this grinding, uploading videos like crazy, like a zombie. Yeah, because I want to do review everything. That's also more like a personal problem with me. I want to review everything, like handhelds, consoles, you name it. But yeah, it's cost, it, it takes up so much time. Bob Durrell, absolutely. We love Sonic Love. I really got awesome things going on. And I really like his drawings. The things you're making is pretty cool. <laughs> it's a police station. Okay, so let's see what it is. It says Coin Operating Games. Hey Sven Schneider, thank you for the 199, buddy. It really helps. It really helps, buddy. <laughs> I think we you might think I haven't need a boy to break a box <laughs> if it's going to be in girlfriend <laughs> yeah buddy yeah Lyle Jensen the live unboxing sometimes I do this if I can collect a lot of packages because if you're having four or five packages I'm more just talking to myself or talking uh, and just unpacking a couple of packages I'm willing to collect a lot of them Uh, Samariter? Uh, no, I don't have a PlayStation 5 with a couple of reasons. Uh, the main reason is that is that I am a retro gamer. I notice it with myself, uh, especially with PlayStation 4. To be honest, my PlayStation 4 is unconnected and it's seriously in a box, it's in a storage. I'm not even using it anymore. I'm just playing the most time on my retro console, if I'm playing games. I rather play Street of Rage on my PC or something like that than having a PlayStation. It sounds kind of weird, maybe as a YouTuber, but PlayStation 5, I love the tech, I love how it, personally I love how it looks, but, and then not forget, I'm not going to pay a crazy amount of money for it. Hey Valentine's Tube, it's awesome to tuning in buddy, yeah, I really appreciate it, they're tuning in. Robert Francis, let's see how we pull it, okay, let's, nevertheless, let's do an unboxing, let's see what's in it. Let's see what's inside the Pickard. From China. Okay. All right. What is this? We have a new controller. Another controller. Oh yeah, guys. Did you know what we're going to do today? We're going to do a live smelling test. Oh yeah, here it goes. Woo. Oh, doesn't feel a bad. Ah, oh, that smells chemical. I love it. Nothing beats a chemical smell in an evening here. Because it's an evening, of course. Hey, Chadhead, can you reveal the smell as you unpack? <laughs> I already smelled it. <laughs> Thank you for the, two, for the two pounds, buddy. Yeah, Wolf Battle, do you know what it is? It's more like PlayStation 5. I completely understand. It's more like we all have our, yeah, let's say, certain amount of money we can spend. And PlayStation 5, it's crazy expensive now. And I think it's rather, I'm always waiting with systems like brand new systems. I know that people are hyped, want to get the system from day one, especially when you have a PlayStation, uh, especially you're a big PlayStation fan. But I'm more like, nah, 
Nah. Nah, I can wait. <laughs> okay, so what's inside? Ooh, look at this. Mm -mm -mm. That is the hamburger Pandora. Yeah. And toilet paper manual. Ooh. This is a deluxe version, by the way. So I'm looking at this, it's more like, did they just send me the same manual like always? Or is it just, did I just order the wrong main board? Okay, so the first one, it's a very heavy one, is the Pandora 3 Games Saga AX Wi-Fi. So this seems to be the latest version, or I think they ordered, they just sent me the wing version because this is, oh yeah, and this is another one, is the 3D2. Yeah, it's all confusing, we're having so many of these freaking things. So. They're going to be on the Power of Pandora book that we're going to review. If I'm correct, this is the new one or there is somewhere in other packages. But there's going to be a lot of Pandora! Pandora stuff! Oh, here everything I want. Look at this. Yeah. Pandora Treasure 2. The Octa-Core in Gore-Tex A53. With a Mani T on an Aeron 30 MP4. So I'm guessing this is more like an older main board with a different name. Funny thing is, if you're looking at the pictures, it's more like the old key seven. But yeah, nevertheless, uh, the manual needs to be there with the rest of the stuff. All right, look at this. Okay, it comes with a VGA HDMI converter. That's kind of weird. Never seen that before with a Pandora box. The Chinese keep surprising me. So I'll read a little bit of the. All right. So let's see if I can. Ah, oh, here it is. Yeah, I was a little bit silent at the moment because I accidentally removed my chat. <laughs> I couldn't read the chat. Oh. Okay, guys, so let's read a little bit through the chat itself I guess wanted to see what people wanted to say are there new Pau Kitty products um, Samariter uh, okay new Pau Kitty I think I did already X20 and X21 that are new products so I was waiting for a very long time I noticed you haven't reviewed Lyle Jensen Red of 640k yeah I know man I know um, it's not on stock it's not on stock a lot and I was more like whatever yeah to be honest really so it's more like I can't keep up anymore I can't come up, I don't know where to get it, and I can't keep up anymore. I know it, it was a high product, and just completely missed the boat with that one. But to be honest, it's something I, I need to live with. It happens all the time. Elf Thunder, do I collect them? It depends. The good ones, I like to collect them, but as more... I call myself as more like the Wicked Gamer collector, but the fun fact is maybe that... I am not the collector, like, I like want to hoard everything. It's more like I really like to find the good stuff and keep it. And But the thing is, but I love to make reviews. I love tech and I love YouTube for what it is. And I think in combination with all these things, it's just, for me, it's not especially getting a lot of stuff and buying much as possible. For me, it's more like finding the good stuff, finding weird products, products from China and maybe somewhere else and make reviews. That's my main passion about it. And of course, not to forget is that I really like to more like build a community, build my Wicked family in this case, and just have a lot of fun together. Frogger the Game Frog, thank you for one euro, buddy. So if it's one euro, I'm questing you. I'm very curious, where are you from, by the way? Especially for Timothy Roller, I'm going to do it once. Pow Kitty! <laughs> uh, Mike Schmidt, I have no idea. I didn't watch it, to be honest. Yeah, Froggy, uh, thank you for the one euro, buddy. I did read the text again. But uh, by the way, Froggy, uh, I think you also can see the. I can see that they're going to be highlighted, so it's very, very convenient. Mr. Mr. Shargate, yeah, thank you, buddy, for your positive message. Great for Chai, Chai Town, Chicago Housing King. How about Sindon Lightgun? Ruben, oh man, I want to have this. By the way, Ultimark, I just checked it out. I just sent an email to the guy from Ultimark. It has more like the version with the recall. I really want to have that one too. I love light guns. Hey, the retro future. It's awesome tuning in, buddy. 
where do you stash it? Yeah, the fun fact is, uh, now it's going to get a little bit of a problem with all the Ed Games products. So I have more like, I'm. let's put it this way, I'm good in Tetris. So I think that says enough. <laughs> Okay, so let's try another package. Let's clean it off the desk. But before we're going to do that, let's smell the controller first. Oh, yeah, love it. Smell, smell the stuff. Okay, goes in paper manual, goes to the collection. Woohoo! Okay, next one. Let's move the camera a little bit. Okay, guys, so let's unbox the other one. Let's see what, what does it say? It's a game console. So looking at the measurement, I'm guessing this is a handheld. Oh, for the people thinking I'm a wicked, you order it all. Yeah, I know. The thing is with this is more like, I order a lot of stuff and sometimes I don't even know what I'm ordered anymore. Because I order too much. Ah. Hey, Timothy Roller, thank you for the $5, buddy. It's re highly appreciated, really cool. So this is the sub. Uh, they told me this is a new version, more like the four one, yep. I can't help myself, buddy. I can't help myself, people. I need to sometimes get myself the new handheld. Even I know it's a bit fetish, I know it's going to be naughty, like naughty, and then I still need to review it. It's more like this personal addiction I'm having. Especially when people like the videos and they keep watching it, and I'm more like, I need to make it. Uh, Valentine's Tube. Uh, the problem is with these uh, machine RK1 up, it's very hard to get. And I did notice some sellers have it maybe in the future, but they are super expensive. And I don't have the room for it. Especially with all the ad game stuff, like the pinball machine. Sometimes I just need to be more like Tetris, everything, and try to find... Try to find everything to get in a special spot. Hey Tony C, thank you for the five dollars buddy, highly appreciate it. Hey, the Ultra Gamer 6000 has arrived. Yeah, they are packaged, they, they are very creative with, with stuff. So we're not going to unbox it anymore. I just want to show you later on. I'm going to throw it here on my couch. It's the next one, the package. What does it say? What does it say? It says handheld gameplay. Ah, that's going to be a spoiler. We already know what it is. Gadget Chicken, your channel. <laughs> what, what, Casey? <laughs> Timothy Ronio. <laughs> hey, by the way, and I got this thing from AliExpress. It was only $1.50. <laughs> I never made a video about it because I think that I think people YouTube people from Romeo YouTube wouldn't like it. I'm doing it. <laughs> oh, okay, so I <laughs> don't <you> see. <laughs> Oh. Hey, Ultra Gamer 6000, I'm going fine, buddy. I'm doing fine. It was a very busy day today. I um, uploaded the video. That is the thing with me. I was more like sitting on my... It was it was Sunday. I'm more like, okay, what should I do today? I can't do a lazy Sunday. Nah. Hey, I have the Super Console X idea. So I just made a video at the day. I have still some videos in, 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 in my schedule. And still a lot of things that I need to do. Especially with the package from China. But... Uh, all right, so let's open it up. Let's see what it is. Okay, so... This is a quite interesting one. So it's, I can't even really tell you guys, and this is going to be more like a spoiler alert. This is going to be in, this handheld, it's, it's not the best one. It's, it's a new version again. Yeah, they say it's more like the new version. They're always saying that more like, it's a 2021, it's a 2021 version, yeah. But I'm guessing it's going to be the same old stuff. Bob Dylan, Retro Dodo is very sarcastic and I don't think he, I don't know, man. I don't know, to be honest, Valentine's Jew. I, I did spoke with Retro Dodo sometimes, and I did a, he did a lot of reviews about this brief weird stuff. So. All right, so let's do a quick peek inside. With this, I wanted to do it. It looks the same, by the way. The Chinese with the colors of the Switch. It's just so funny, by the way. Yeah, it feels cheap and, yep, it smells cheap. It's going to be in uh, another video for another day. All right. Okay, let's grab another one. Woohoo, let's go. Okay, let's do a quick peek. It is, okay, this thing called 
description content gamer. Seriously. So they call this thing a gamer description. <laughs> hey Matthew. Yeah, okay, that's pretty cool that you're just tuning in and in the channel where did you that you enter the wicked family. As always highly appreciate it that people like the content. I spend too much time on it. I work by the way seven days a week. I'm almost saying it and it's not more like that people need to feel sadder for me, but I'm just such addicted to these things. I like making videos. So much fun. Summer Enter. Oh, another one that I've shown you was the X7. Yeah, the X7 one. <laughs> Timothy Rowland. <laughs> it's a game of girl. He played the bottom. He had the Oh, guys, you correct me all up, man. Oh. See, that's what I needed today in the lab. So it's more like they use an, 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 old, an old plastic bag. I need to have this coming box. All this plastic, all the plastic. <laughs> Yeah, getting lit. Sometimes some of these things are freaking horrible. James Heidman agreed. I'm always more like, I expect nothing, I expect only rubbish. But sometimes they surprise me. I think that's more like the highlights. <laughs> oh, so let's see. What is it? What did I... What did I order, man? What did I order? Okay, so. Okay. It's more like, oh, now I know, yeah. It was a fellow YouTuber called Tashiro. Tashiro wasn't his name. But this, he asked me to check this out for the channel. It was more like the PX3. I did a review. Oh, man, I did watch the video, the old video. Man, the video was really horrible. But, that was the PX3, the reversed position, and the, I think I reviewed it three years ago. So this thing is brand new, and it looks kind of slim. I'm going to open it up, by the way. I'm so curious now. Okay, there's somebody who's typing in, 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 in other language. I have no idea. So if people keep it Dutch and English, I can read. <laughs> I can I can read it. <laughs> I can't. Go I can't Google Translate <laughs> at the moment. Hey, Valius Network Ventrex. I love it when you have a Dutch flag. Is it Dutch flag? In your, in your, yeah, it's a Dutch flag. Yeah, the PX. I'm very curious how this new version is. So, let's see. Just going to do a quick unboxing. I can't help myself. I just need to check it out. Ooh, I got the orange one. And again, they are using these freaking cartridges. <laughs> we got two of them. Oh, they're still keep, they keep doing this. Look at this. It's me, yeah. Mario. It's me, yeah. Oh, look at this, how many games, yeah. Oh, why? 2021, they still keep doing that. Huh? Oh. Hey, Rock and Roller, welcome, buddy. Welcome. Austin Gibbs, I think a lot of people are here in the. Okay, so this thing looks kinda... Oh, it just got the old SP battery in. Oh man, oh man, oh man. Is it broken or what? Oh, the switch is just broken. Hey, they got a different, it's got a different intro. Okay, wait, wait, what? What the hell is this? Oh, the horrible D-pad, man. This horrible D-pad. Hey, Retro Dodo, awesome for tuning in, buddy. Oh boy, oh boy. Yeah, I'm well, not going to do. I'm <laughs> not going to do a full review on this, but oh, this is going to be another shitty product. Oh man. Uh, some stuff just need to get whipped. Okay. Uh, yeah, get over here. Oh, Gideon Wilson. Well, Wilson. Seriously? Okay, okay, okay. Okay, now I want to see it. Okay. So you told me that this thing doesn't fit in the... Oh, I, know. I want to know it now. 
I'm not going to wait for the refill. Okay, seriously, did it. I don't mind Finn. I don't mind Finn, just that's great. Now, I think maybe they messed it up with the connector or something with the card pitches, but nah, this seems to be working. Okay, <laughs> that would be so freaking horrible that that, that he's freaking just with the slim version messed it up big time. Yeah, <laughs> indeed, Sonic Love. Uh, of Sonic Love, sorry, my mistake. I mean, von, von Zit He Man. Yeah, <laughs> indeed. If uh, Retro Game Corps, ETA Prime, and Mr. Udo can join, the, the gang will be complete. Or so, do I still miss people? <laughs> oh. Yeah, I know, the, the card riches, man, they are so huge when it comes to the games. There are basically 20 games on it or something like that. Okay, so next package, it says, let's speak. Oh, Seda HDD adapter, I know already what it is. So, can you still remember the memory card that I did a review about from uh, the brand? Oh. Okay, so let's see what we're going to get. Oh man, the smell of this thing. Waka, 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 waka. Okay, so let's see. Ah. So this is the PlayStation 2 USB. Yep, it's the. Yeah, there's this version. Oh, it comes with. Oh, it looks quite nice. So basically, there was not the best option for an upgrade for your PlayStation, but hey, 640 gigabyte Western Edition Blue Scorpio. Oh, they did using. Doesn't even matter because these things are using prehistoric USB connection. Hey, Nippy Ninja, oh, sometimes really hard to pronounce those names, man. <laughs> All right, so let's see what's inside the other package. I have no idea. I did know that some people in the Wicked family asked me for checking out the SATA adapter for the PlayStation 2 FAT model. You know what it is with Wicked, just rip and tear, just rip and tear. Ah, from the brand GameStar, curious if this thing works. Yet. Ah, here it is, here it is my friend. So we're going to try that one out too. It will only take some time to set everything up because I wanted to check it out. The Sega edition, that is so convenient if you have this version for your places too. You don't need to get a really old EDA drive. Super convenient. Yeah guys, so I wanted to go online on the most perfect time so everybody can join or most people from around the globe because we're having quite a difference between the time of course. <laughs> Sonic Love, get the beers out Wicked. <laughs> no my friend, I have a cup of tea, just splendid like always, I am a tea person. Super Retro Dodo, yeah, the Super Console X Pro that basically almost have the same chipset. Chipset. Rupert, hey, awesome that you're tuning in from Italy. What if this smell like fight farts? You <laughs> robot tool. <laughs> oh. Okay, guys, so we still have a lot of packages to unpack. So I hope you have got something to drink. Because we're having a lot of packages from China. Oh yeah. So which one shall I pick now? Hmm. I'm still looking at the Grome version. That's really more like my precious. I want to unbox it. Yeah. Hey GTB. Awesome man. Awesome you tuning in. <laughs> Brocky the game frog. Beef cake! Beef cake! The biggest one. Oh, the biggest one is over here, by the way. The biggest one is over there. And I I'm, I'm think I know what it is in it. So, so the biggest one is over there. The black one. Okay, so what am I going to do? We're going to grab the biggest one and then we're going to get the, the one that's wrapped in plastic and tape and black colors. Alright, so let's go back. 
Uh, I'm thinking I need to adjust the camera for this big one. Okay, so let's check it out. <laughs> yeah, Jin. I will say it in the Dutch language, but it sounds kind of cool. Chinese, Chinese book is leuk. That's the Dutch part of it. Hey, Timothy Roller, thank you for the two dollars, buddy. Thank you. Okay, so let's unpack the big one. All right, let's rearrange all the packages. <laughs> okay, so what does the package say? The package says game console second hand. So I have no idea exactly what it is. It can be different things, but I have an idea. <laughs> yeah, Lily Jensen, I know it's a lot. <laughs> I ordered around more than 30 packages or something like that. Yeah, Tony C, the next one is the, the black one. The black one. Yeah, 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 yeah. I will uh, try that one. The taped, crazy taped one. Dark Guido. BR, I think you mean Brasilia, by the way. Welcome. Awesome that you're tuning in, buddy. Restall X. Uh, yes, I have the RG351. I have the P version, the plastic. I don't have the metal version. I still want, I had it on my wish list, but the thing is more like the double feeling. I already own the 351P and spending another $125, $150 on another one. Look like Christmas at Wicked Gamer House, yeah. <laughs> I was looking at those packages for two days or so, three days, more like, I need to wait for the live stream, I need to wait for the live stream, I need to wait for the live stream. Kuron, Kuron, Vida. No, 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 I have both of them already. I did order, I did order an, an, an PSP by the way, but it was not from package from China, so I couldn't include this. Okay, so let's check it out. Tom, 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 tom. All right, so what's inside? What's inside? I think I'm going to move up the camera a little bit. Wait a moment. Yeah, going high, going high. All right, let's take a close look inside. All right, perfect position this way. Mars, yeah, it takes forever, man. It takes forever, but. The thing is with uh, when you're going to buy expensive stuff, I have this in the past too, especially with the fellow Dutchman here, is that sometimes the customs are so freaking slow. Sometimes I waited two or three months for getting finally my freaking package. But it's, it's so freaking, they're so busy over there. Yeah, agreed, agreed, Valentin Tube. Thank you, buddy. Thank you, buddy. Give this stream a like, give this stream a like. Okay, so what's inside? Ooh. Oh, do you ready to see it? Okay, what is all inside of this? Okay, so do you know what it is? This is, yeah, I can really see that's a single dream gas. Yeah, that's a captain of yes moment. But the thing is more like, I ordered myself a special fully modded from the brand Bitfunks. There was a seller on AliExpress, Bitfunks is a store. I buy a lot of stuff from him. And he mods these old school systems. So he basically modded and fully modded SD function Sega Dreamcast. And the shell itself, let's see how it looks. They're reusing, of course, old systems. Ah, the bottom part looks kind of horrible, can clean it up. But as you can see, oh, that looks very nice. Looks really nice. And here's the back we're having an HDN. So we're going to use a power adapter. DVI out and the HDMI. I always want to have an HDMI version. So finally got one. But yeah, Galloway Gaming 75. I'm going to make a teardown and also check out how they did the soldering if I can get to it just to see how it all looks. Okay, so let's see what's inside this box because there's a box inside a box. That's a double package China, China phone box. Okay, let's see. Okay. Oh, this is very nice. Ooh, look at this. They even give you an instruction manual. You're going to get a Deutsch toilet paper manual, SD card. Everything is just included. So I must say, Bitfunks, extra kudos to you. You did a very nice job with this. 
very bleak. It also came with an extra controller. Oh, especially for the people who like it. <laughs> so it even comes including in place of place it, uh, it comes included in controller, and that's quite interesting because some of these Chinese sellers did sell game cubes whatsoever without a controller, and the controller does not look that bad. Very pleased because I still needed the controller. I'm going to clean it anyway because it's still a little bit filthy, but I'm going to clean it. We're going to have a lot of fun. Okay, guys, so let's clean up this box. The next one, the other one that you requested. Oh, it's also included everything that we're going to need. Oh, it's going to be in China, pal. Stop here. All right, so let's lower it or shall I lower it? Yeah, I think I need to lower it a little bit. All right. Howdy how. All right, so let's put him in this position. And uh, you all requested this package. The another one. Okay, so let's tighten up all the position of my camera. Otherwise, <laughs> it will drop down automatically. Alan, yeah, no, it's a big problem with these Dreamcast. I don't know why it is, but they are going, going to get yellow. Um, Ventrex, no, it didn't include an VMU, but it was not in the kit. It was more like console and controller and all the cabling where you're going to need. Hollywood Polo. <laughs> rolling, rolling, rolling here. Yeah. Mike Schmidt, yeah, absolutely. This is just, and it's especially fun to show it, or share it with you all guys. Just pretty cool. I have no idea what it is. So, shall we do a quick speak? Speak, speak. Let, let's see what, what does it says. It says, again, coin operating games. So I'm guessing it's more something arcade related. I don't know if the Super Console X is inside this big pile of stuff, simply because I know it did came in with the customs, but I don't know if they shipped it out. Satisfaction. Pure satisfaction. Oh man, I have a lot of plastic bubble wrap. Bubble wrap! Joost, thank you for tuning in, buddy. Just thank you for tuning in. <laughs> yeah, again, Wooster, I don't think so. But in the end, it's more like the guy who delivers my package always gets paid. Doesn't matter where he where the packages come from. If it's more like in Europe, outside of Europe. So in the end, I think he's happy because he gets paid by me or the company to deliver all my packages. Okay, Chris, let's open it up. This is going to be a freaking nightmare opening up. I think I found... Seriously, what is... I must say, this guy who sent it to me is super creative. Look at this. You go all crazy with the plastic. Here, there is just some plastic. <laughs> oh, man. What? Open up the freaking box. Oh. What's inside? We're having here. A power supply. Hey, Dragon V. Thank you, man. Thank you, man. You didn't have to do that, buddy. You already subscribed to the channel like a member, so. Wow, man. Yes. Oh. I have no words for it, man. It's just. Let's put it this way. It's just freaking awesome that you're doing this. Ah, oh, spoiler! You know what it is? It is a Pandora box! I don't know what kind of name it is. Because they all look the same, they all work the same. And not to forget, they all smell the same. Oh man, this thing, oh! This thing smells really chemical. Ah, this is the new one. Okay, look at this. People were asking. The Super Retro Pandora Sakai EX Wi-Fi 8001. I think this is the new version. But, wait a minute. Look at this! Look at this! No, not this one. This one is, is another one. Go away. What? Did you just sell me? 
Did he just send me the sec? What did they send me? Look. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Oh, thank you, Sonic Love, Sonic Love, thank you. Oh yeah, we're getting the cowboy song. We need some more music. Wicked is in town. He is back. He's going to unbox some packages from China because he's the sheriff in the Wicked Town. That's why guys just need to do that. Have these wicked moments. Now, the fun fact is that I think he's happy with me. Because he brings me a lot of packages! Yeah, Froggy Gamers all, it's package from China smell time. Uh, Valius, to be honest, uh, the latest box, I don't know what it is. I think it or it is the version showing you, the 8001, or it is the other one. I still need to make some reviews, so it's going to be a lot of Pandora videos in the future now. A lot of main, new main boards. Dinos, no, I don't touch smoking. I'm not smoking at all. I never smoked in my life. Steph Olaf, thank you. Okay, so let's check out. Let's check out we have more. We're going to put some box in this box. We're going to put boxes in this box. Uh, I have this couch here. This is how uh, crowded with all packages from China. Okay, so we have a plastic fantastic. I know what I'm going to do today. We're going to have. Hey, no, the pepper wrap. I want to do. Alright, so let's move on with the show and let's unbox the other one. Okay, this one uh, hmm, feels quite heavy. It says Game Console. Oh, okay, guys, we're having a game console. So, is it B? Is it Super Console? Who knows? Tim, thank you for the five euro, buddy. Oh, hey, the Belgium family. Awesome, buddy. Thank you, thank you. Bob Duel, lol. <laughs> Wicked versus Wario. <laughs> Andre Vandal, yeah, same for me, buddy. Same for me. It's more like I'm uploading the videos like with the Pandora stuff, and it's more of the same sometimes. It's, by the way, I need to be honest with you guys. It feels something really depressing, more like, oh man, another thing. Oh, it's all the same. But I make the reviews just to show people who look out, don't buy it, don't upgrade, or if you don't have anything, whatever. But it's more like, be warned that some of these things, they have a nice fancy name, but in the end they're all the same. <laughs> okay, so let's see what we're having more when it comes to the packages. Can I rip it open? Can I rip it open? It's the HD video game console built in 2000 plus games. Okay, so uh, this is my other addiction. So that is a problem I'm having with this. Is that I have reviewed so many of these freaking NES and SNES clones. And when there is a new one coming out, I need to check it out. I can't help myself. I'm more like maybe this can be the next thing. HD video games is a peaky one. Zero A, so I can't talk anymore. The PK01 HD is a little bit bust up. I was a little bit of bummer as they're doing this. There's not a lot of information on it. It comes with Super NES controllers. There's not a lot. Yeah, I think it's going to be an interesting video. Especially, especially with the, uh, especially with, with that it has a lot of support for games. But again. I can't help myself. I did a review some time ago on my second channel, by the way. So quite interesting, by the way. By the way, I'm all. I'm saying, by the way, by the way. Hello, by the way, 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 by the way. That happens when we go to do a live stream. 
Wicked's go and get a lot of brain fart. Yes, because he can't talk anymore. Jibber jabber, jibber jabber. Meow. <laughs> Gallo Game is 75? No, I don't have shares in Ali. Bob Dole, love your review. Should talk durability as you buy for kids, please. Durability. Yeah, I did st I did stop throwing the stuff because people were not really happy with it. David Dickerson. David Dickerson. Uh, I'm a friend with ETA Prime. Uh, no, I think not. I don't know if he likes me because we did spoke on some time. We did spoke. We did spoke a couple, couple of times on chat or so. He seems like a really nice guy, but I can't get in touch with him. He is such a busy guy, and don't forget, he lives in the U.S., so we having a big time gap. He tried to call me sometimes with, with uh, Facebook itself, but it's almost mission impossible to do this, man. It's it's just. I think that's the biggest thing. I would love to review or re, uh, make reviews with him together or do some more like cross cross platform stuff. I really like the guy. He has a lot of great videos, but sadly. The time. The time. Yucatec. Yeah, to be honest, I have so many ideas. And Discord, it would be great indeed. But the thing is, I don't want to disappoint people. Because in the end, I'm, I'm spending so much time buying stuff, reviewing products. that, Or I need to make less videos and just... Spend time on other things. Tony C, I early today reserved the cost of an entire tech return for including the what? You early today reserved reserved oh you reserved the cost of an entire tax return with at the games. Not completely understanding this this text, but I'm guessing I don't know exactly where you're going with this. Yeah, Galloway Gaming City 5, yeah, there were so many Mega Drive clones. I think the first, the G1, that was one with EV out, that was the best one. Okay, so let's grab the bling bling one. The bling bling. This package looks nice. It says set top box. So I'm guessing it's more like one of the TV boxes that I ordered. Bob Duell, how do you mean with collaboration? Uh, what do you mean with collaboration between community? Can you explain that to me? Boxmaster, thank you for the three euro, buddy. Thank you for your support. Highly appreciate it. If Timothy Roller says, if you want to see new things and retro Japan is the only way to get authentic retro products with Elliot's. To be honest, I have been thinking about doing it more like um, doing less China stuff and just order stuff from Japan because indeed, I did watch the channel a lot and a lot of great, awesome things that a lot of great Japanese uh, products that you have never seen in Europe and the US. I, I find it very interesting. Agreed. I did order some stuff from Magic Button. I did v uh, visit them a couple of times, did borrow, did buy some stuff because they import stuff from Ch Japan and other uh, other Asian countries. But it's more like, yeah, where where do we need to start with this? I have so again, my main problem with this channel is in general is more like I have so much stuff that interests me, like Pandora's boxes, handhelds, game consoles, Android boxes, gaming keyboards. There's another addiction of mine. I really love gaming keyboards, and some view, videos are doing very well. Uh, racing wheels. I recently did a review about the G25 and 27. So it's just crazy, man. There's just so much stuff. Hey, Oli Ball, 77. Thank you, man. <laughs> Holy Ball. <laughs> I love that name, by the way. Uh, fellow Dutchman. Mm -hmm. Thanks, buddy. Yeah, I will keep it up. Thank you for your donation of 5 euro. Highly appreciate it, buddy. Timothy Roller. Oh, okay. That's the way you want to. Oh, I'll record. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, sometimes try you reply to each other. That's pretty cool. And <laughs> I try to read everything between unboxing everything. I think you were with a lot of people wanting to help you out, but it's totally up to you. Uh, yeah, you wake attack. Yeah, it's more like um, that would be great indeed. But the thing is more like I did have a Facebook group. I still have a Facebook group, um, but I don't do a lot of stuff with it because it, it's basically that's the thing of burnout. If you're making a lot of stuff from YouTube, it's it's completely mentally destroying you. If you're going to make too many videos, I know how it feels. 
and if you're going to and I'm afraid if I'm going to do in discord doing to do this and doing that so I try to figure out which direction I will go in the future more like shall I do less videos and spend some more time on discord and try to do stuff like that it's a little bit of an oh so many things that I wanted to do I wish I have 48 hours in a day hey Jasper S buddy hey Jasper S are you I'm still do I still have statues in my collection? Yeah, I still have statues and a couple of them. I still have the Mortal Kombat editions from Pop Your Culture, some Sonic statues, Pac-Man, especially mostly your first of figure, but I did sold a lot of them. Because here it comes, I sold my statues because I am I needed the money for buying stuff from China. And that's a jungle joke, I did that. Hey Protech, thank you buddy. I did see a lot of Lyle, Lyle Jensen, I did see a lot of videos of Japan and I would go crazy man, I would go crazy in there, more like so much stuff I want to check out. Anish President Pi 4 with Virtual Man Image, you should review. David, I have no idea that, okay, yeah I did know that they are selling just pies, I did know that. Okay so let's open up this one because I'm curious now what it is, I'm guessing it's in TV box. <sighs> I don't want to destroy my package, it looks so cool. Why are they using something like this? It's such a weird thing. The KM6 Deluxe Edition. Ah, here he is. ETA Prime did a review about it and I just wanted to have it in my collection. This thing weighs freaking heavy. Oh, I bumped my... The Mi Cool Android TV. And it's a quite interesting one because, as you can see already here, Google Play, Prime Video, YouTube, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah oh man, it doesn't have specs on the box. But this is the latest version, so this thing's quite interesting. I ordered already a cheap version from this, so I have a couple of different, but we're going to do some testing on it because we can do a lot of great stuff. Hey Jeff, thank you for the five bucks, buddy. Happy Valentine's Day, Ah, Love your channel, I wish I had more time in to do, do. Yeah, the balance you need to find, thank you so much, yeah. I tried to do my best, buddy, and that's the only thing I can do. And the last time I just tried to focus on videos that just, I wouldn't say matter, people want to see and just try to do my best. The Falcon 2600, where is the best place to order kind of stuff from AliExpress? So that's a quite interesting question. And the reason why, because there are so freaking many stores. And the reason is that because they're, everybody can basically make an AliExpress store. You need to see it look like a gigantic marketplace. And I think you just need to check out the feedbacks, especially what I really I think I showed you what is it, uh, 20, 30 minutes ago, the Bitfunks. There's a great example. There's just a brand, big brand, like not like, like Xiaomi, but a big brand for the retro stuff. And they have more like a little bit better quality and they are just niching down on a certain product. So just search for the feedback, the bigger stores, like official Pandora Box or you name it. Already tried the wave share. Uh, no, I didn't. And to be honest, I don't know for sure I'm going to do it because I am a little bit burned out on pies. If it's in Pi 4, it would be getting me excited. I have reviewed so many pie stuff like the one up, you name it. I didn't even got the big one, the game share, the black, big black box with the gigantic five inch screen, was it? I didn't even do it too, simply because I, I can't keep up. It's, I need to spend so much time building it, uh, putting an image on it. You know how it goes. And I'm more like, pff, man, I just <laughs> going to avoid it. It's not really something new. And again, you need to make choices in life. Amir, hello, watching you for the long now. Ah, oh, man, cool, man. It's just awesome to read that you're just a long time subscriber. Awesome, thank you, buddy. The Megacade, Mr. Gonzo, yeah, I did see it somewhere. But sometimes what I also noticed that um, some products are very hard to find in Europe and getting it from the US to Europe is also super expensive. Not do with tax, but also more like um, everything, like the shipment, everything. Mm, Hattos, uh, nee, this box is with the new version, the X4, if I'm saying it correctly. I'm not exactly new sure, I need to check out which uh, version of chipset is in this, but it was quite interesting. Hey 
Hey, so long, Glove. It's what you've oh, it's just awesome that you're tuning in, buddy. And yeah, see you in the next one, buddy. It's yeah, I really appreciate it. Everything like uh, like the 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 uh, just a super sticker. That was the name, yeah. That was the name I was searching for. The super sticker that you give me to be yeah some the extra money to help me out big time and then your support to the channel. Highly appreciate it. Yes, Kent, that was it. The S905 X4 CPU. Thank you. Yep, that was the, the latest edition. So I'm very curious. But the thing is with this Mi Cool, it was very expensive and we're having cheaper. Maybe it's in the packages here over here, but there isn't cheaper version out there. It costs maybe the half of the money of this version. Bob Dill. I must say, do you know what? The fun fact is more like normally when with live streams, it's going to get it consumes a lot of energy because you're going to be very interactive. But I have no, I don't have this problem in the last couple of times I did it, especially with the live stream of Retro Ralph. It was so much fun. Hey Bogdan, welcome, buddy. Welcome. So let's check another one. Okay, I need to. Oh man, I need to clone up stuff here. So well, let's check another one. This time it's a game console again. Yeah, I did order a lot of handhelds this time again. I can't help it. I can't help it. So let's see what I ordered with this one. Oh yeah, it's the super arcade emulator. It's So the thing is more like, the question remains, is this the exactly the same one than the other one I've really checked out? The other one that's broken, or did I just miss it out? Yeah, I think it is. I think they just sent me a second one. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy. Oh man, I need to clean up here. I need to clean up, I need to clean up. Okay, so another package that already opened up. So I am naughty. You have a very naughty. Because it came in from a pretty long time ago. I just need to double check it. And this is the latest version. So if you're wondering which is the latest version, this is the latest version out there. The Pandora Game 3D. I don't know. Did, I think they didn't change a lot of the main board itself. So it's basically the same main board. Uh, maybe they did some adding some more stuff to it. Some more options. So that's what you're going to get. A lot of these Pandora's boxes nowadays. Another one for the pal. All right, so another one. Let's see it in game console again. Yep, I did it again. Hey, Marty, two thousand three. Welcome to the live stream, buddy. James Hydeman, beefcake edition. So, Mariter, when do you order stuff? When do you order that stuff every month? It depends. It depends a little bit. Um, this time, I knew of Chinese New Year. I ordered basically, let's say, thirty orders in one. But it's more like, I try to more like buffer. So I try to order a lot of stuff. But the problem with this is that it's high, so hard to keep up. I order, sometimes I order, let's say 10, 50 products. And then after a couple of days, they are releasing a new handheld. So I just need to make another order. Uh, no, Yucatec, I don't own a mister. And Dragonfly Amusement, where I did make some videos about with, with arcade machines. And he was very fond of it. But the problem is that I have no time. I have just no time to, I can buy it, but it will be more like a super long-term project that I'm not going able to get to it. Another thing of being a YouTuber that makes only you freaking you reviews every single day. Can you do a tour of the showing of your collection? Jeff, yeah, I can do, but it's more like showing a lot of boxes because most of the stuff I have in box. I can make more like an overview of stuff that I'm having laying around. Yeah, Protec, I think too. It's more like this. The Pandora's box is one of the best ones. Yeah. Okay, so let's open it up quickly because I'm now curious what's inside. Oh, yeah, that was the one Retro Dodo reviewed. That's the one Retro Dodo reviewed. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Where have they seen this before? This is going to be the title. Where have I seen this before? Oh. Those Chinese are so freaking naughty. Yo guys, you know what it means? It's a package from China that is freaking naughty. It's naughty. Naughty, it can be naughty in this. Oh boy, the Chinese with the freaking 
handheld on the door. Uh, let's see, what is Wicked's my what is your job? YouTube is my job. I'm doing it full time now. Otherwise, I can't keep up anymore. I did some part time job. My previous job was I worked in a shop that sells chapats, more like the radio controlled one. And I've been a mechanic for a very long time. But I quit my job and I wanted to do full time YouTube. I wanted to work being creator. I always want to have my own business. So Obi Densi, many thanks, buddy. Many thanks for the five bucks. So I know if you can connect the super consoles to an official Pandora box. Um, yeah, I know what you're going to with this Valius network. Uh, depends what kind of Pandora box. So the Pandora box DX, so far I know it will be recognized on the Xbox 360. So it's highly possible if you're going to connect a Pandora box to a Super Console, but you will use it, of course, like a control pack, more like a controller, not of course, but the Pandora box itself. It's more like a controller unit. Timothy Roller, thank you, buddy. To buy another whip if the one breaks. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I tell you a funny story. So, I, you know, AliExpress have this algorithm where you buy something that, um, you know, when you're clicking on, on the going console, they're going to recommend you stuff. I don't need to tell you what happened when I was searching on AliExpress for a whip. I bought a whip. You don't want to know what YouTube of YouTube. I mean, what AliExpress recommend me. <laughs> oh, it's fake leather, Jeff. It's a fake naughty whip. <laughs> It's having some wear now. It's having some near wear from the whipping. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Exclusive zone, dude. Not yet. <laughs> oh. Do you have how many consoles, handheld, and the box? I have stopped counting. I still have owning maybe more than 100 systems if you combine like handhelds, consoles, you name it. It depends though, Katoko. It, it depends what it is. Um, some products are so horrible that I can't sell it. It's such ho horrible. I have so have so many horrible products. I'm thinking how you cannot even give it away to be honest. And if I'm going to do giveaways, I'm always trying to send something that is at least decent enough to enjoy. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, Sparky, man. It's Christmas. All right, it's the time for more. Back is from China. Okay, so let's see what we're having here. We're having a handheld classic game. I still keep grabbing the handhelds. Huh? I didn't order. Oh man, <laughs> freaking whip. <laughs> okay, so let's rip and tear. Rip and tear. Ah, that was the one. Yeah, 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 yeah. So this is the Game Boy Station Lite 2. I already did a review, I think it was ages ago, when I just started the Packet from China show here on YouTube. I made a review about the first edition. And you know what I'm curious about? The first one was chemical plastic. It smells big time. So let's see. So just doing an unboxing. It's the same shell like the Pau Kitty V30 or V40. Yep, it's the same freaking shell. Okay, wait. Wow, this one doesn't smell chemical. Look at that screen, how tiny it is. So the volume control, it doesn't light up, so I'm guessing the battery is dead or it just needs something. But I, I ordered the pink version. I think I didn't order the pink version, they just sent me the pink version. Oh, so that's another more another struggle. You order in black or in, let's say in red version, you're going to get a pink version. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you get that. <laughs> Hey Ian Brower, um, yeah, the shells are still for sale if you search on AliExpress. If you dig deep and you're searching for the shells, you can still find a lot of them. 
And otherwise, there were some other brands. I don't know exactly where it exactly was, more like eBay or so. There was somewhere I did find them. I did find them. All right, another package from China. Okay, guys, so um, I need to go to the toilet. Yes, it's going to be a break. After one hour and 27 minutes of life, we're going to do a break. I'm going to pause it. I'm pause it. I'm just going to leave the package here, put the volume up, be right back. Alright guys, so I'm back already. So Okay, so let's check it out. Yeah box much you liked it. You liked the, the cute the cute tiny 8-bit system. Uh, gaming 75, yeah I know to be honest, I love my Mega Drive man. Genesis for the American people of course. Do you have Mortal Kombat Arcade Mini? No, I don't have to. No, I don't have I, I think I can buy them here. I can buy these freaking mini arcade machines. Does it run crisis? Yeah, we need to put that one on a t-shirt. GDL, welcome. Welcome, buddy, to the live stream. <laughs> He's going to live with package, David, in action. <laughs> All right, so let's see what's inside. So, okay, so this is a really interesting story. After a very long time, I got some con I got in contact with Funny, Funny Playing. For the people who don't know, Funny Playing, he sells basically the Game Boys or the shells, the LCD display, especially he's known from the LCD. And he told me he was starting with a new handheld whatsoever. So I'm more like, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, LG, I washed my hands. I washed my hands, I need to wash my hands because they smelled chemical. I didn't open it up, especially for this live stream. I just wanted to wanted to unbox it here. Oh yeah, this song is special for this unboxing. Ooh. Ba -da -ba -ba -da. Oh. oh yeah, you can see it, but I'm dancing, baby. Woohoo! So this is a new product that is going to sell or is going to sell it so far, I know. Let's see, don't forget to like and subscribe in the video, in the James, James Highman, thank you buddy. Froggy, okay, disclaimer, if you're going to use the paper stuff like, like you're going to get a lot of Paper cuts in your butt. You know where? Eh? So don't forget the disclaimer with the toilet paper manuals. Yeah, it's indeed a monster Game Boy, Chris. It's just gigantic. Man, this thing weighs quite heavy. Oh man, he did use tape on the box. No, okay, it's okay. So this is a handheld that I have never seen before. Oh, it's all wrapped in plastic. So I can't even unbox it here. Oh, 
I want to remove it. Ugh. The Retro Pixel. We just think these are big like the box. Chris Bang no. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Man, it looks kind of interesting. Big Pixel Gaming. So the, the new Game Boy Pie. All right. So I'm curious about this one. We're going to check it out, uh, guys, in full review. So no, wait. You know what? You know what? We're going to do. We're going, just going to unbox it. I just want to see it now. I can't wait anymore. I've waited so freaking long for the, for the unboxing. All the packages from China. Oh, more plastic. Yeah, Boxmaster, be careful with the box. <laughs> Paul, is the Super Constellation great thing? It's a mixed bag. And the reason I'm saying mixed bag is because it's in low chipset. So it's an N the S905M. And it's a little bit underpowered if you're going to play some Dreamcast and PSP, all the stuff. They all say it runs like PSP, it's like Dreamcast. Yeah, it runs like shit, if you ask me. So it's more like a mixed bag again. <laughs> Mike Smith <laughs> ordered a wireless mouse from China. It had a QC sticker on it. Did it work? Did it hell. <laughs> okay, so let's take a close look inside because I'm just curious. I know how it's with you, but the packaging itself is really nice. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, it comes with a cable. All right. It has more like the original look. Can I remove? Can I remove this? I'm not going to. I never had this thing in my hand, but it looks like a switch. Ah, here it is. Wow. Well, looks kind of interesting. It's kind of weird that you need to hold it like this. Huh. Okay, here's the battery. Retro pixel. Okay. How's the D pad? It's okay. Feels kind of strange. The buttons feel nice. Quite an interesting product. So I'm going to check it out a little bit more. Okay, I just wanted to do a quick unboxing for you guys. I'm going to put it carefully back in the box. So what I think with the Pi stuff, there is a lot of development, man. And they are just making it better and better. So the find it very interesting. In the last couple of years I'm doing making these videos, it's just so interesting. See what other stuff they are going to make. Okay, so the retro pixel, it will take some time, but eventually I will make the video. But this will take a lot of time to make a video about it. Yeah, the Stargate, it's a pie. It's a pie, you know, the pie. The pie, like in the Nintendo 64, when I drop out to the pie hall, the princess asked to me, come eat some pie. You know, the pie, the pie. All right. <laughs> Chris Bagno. So basically I need to remove all the screen protects and make a compilation out of it. Okay, so we have a lot of big boxes out there. I think we're just going to grab the other versions out there. So here we're having the smaller packages. I think we're going to first grab those by one, two, three, four, five, five, four, four tiny versions. So oh, curious what's inside of this one. All right, so let's see. It says inflatable girlfriend. Uh, I mean, game controller. <laughs> Sorry, Justin didn't do that. Yeah, the pizza pie, Albert. <laughs> uh, yeah, same Rainbow Mess. I can't wait for it in Pi 4. It would be so cool. Can you see it? No, you can see it. You can see it. You can see it. A lot of plastic. Okay, so in the beginning of this live stream, I already told you it's going to be more like 2021, the year of the stick. And oh hell yeah, we have another stick. So I'm going to do an unboxing. I just wanted to show you this. This one looks pretty cool. 
Okay, so let's lower my my camera a little bit. <laughs> Tony C. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, obviously. Okay, I will open up the big one later on. After this one. So let's see what we're going to get inside. Let's see, what are we going to get? Is it going to be a pretendo product? Like, you know, eh? like the Chinese saying pretendo. No. You picked it up for Renaus. Okay, so here we. Look at these cute tiny controllers. Oh my god, this cuteness overload people. Oh, look at this. <laughs> oh, they are so cute. Stupid tape! <laughs> Look at this! Oh, oh my... The oh, the D-pad is horrible. Does it smell chemical? No. They're starting to learn it. But we're having two colors of these controllers and they... <laughs> oh. Boxmaster, yeah, you don't have a naughty stick. You don't have a naughty stick? Mm, yeah, baby. That doesn't matter. You can't live without. <laughs> Boxmaster, how can you call her Barbera? <laughs> so this one is pretty cool. We have a shoulder button. It's going to be a lot of 8-bit fetish like always. I think at the bottom. Oh, here's the USB. It's an oh, USB. The HDMI stick. So I'm glad they give me an HDMI at least. So let's do back in the box. Hey Boxmaster, we're going to do back in the box. Woo! Now, we'll just leave the box in one piece. All right. Next up, let's grab ourselves a big one because people wanted to see the big one. So we're going to do a big one unboxing. Okay, let's move the camera. Oh, I have my, I don't record my table like it. One, two, come. Yeah, thank you. Okay, everything is positioned. Package from China time! Let's see, it says console GB33. Oh, that's quite an interesting one. It was Nintendo Switch Pro. Everybody's talking about the Nintendo Switch Pro. Yucatec. No, I don't have a PlayStation 4 fake version because I already have two of them. I have enough now. I have enough of these packages. Okay, so it's a game system. What, what's the packaging saying? The description. Ooh, looks kind of cool. Looks interesting. Ah, it's the All Star. Damn it, what a gigantic box. Look at this box. The Warrior 64 Plex. <laughs> Hot chicken. All right, so it's another stick. Yeah, guys, you're going to see a lot of stick reviews the upcoming month because we have a lot of stick consoles now. It's called the GB 3D Method Use. I'm very curious what it is exactly. The Pandora Game Dongle. But how many names goes it? It goes with the Pandora Game Demo. GB33, okay. Will it be the next generation of shitty controllers that smell chemical? Oh man! Yeah, this smells also kind of chemical. Love it. So that's it, guys. So this looks kind of cool. The Game Stick GB30. Hmm. Alright. Another stick for the collection. Yeah! Let's grab another big one. Oh, let's see. I need to read a little bit of the the chats. Yeah, Albert Z is huge. Yeah. That would be a great title. The Revenge of the Naughty Stick. Part <laughs> the part five or part seven. <laughs>
<laughs> Dorian, yeah, it never ends. It's such a big pile. I got so many packages in. Yeah, but Rich PKM, they always call us in Pandora because people are searching on Pandora's box. So they are just calling everything a Pandora. If they go to take a shit on the toilet, you know what they say? Look at this, it's a Pandora. Oh, something like that. But cannot run crisis, Robert Dunn says. No, it doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> Chicago host king. <laughs> How many place to controls do you have? Um I have them bad. Okay, you know what? I'm going to special going to show you. How many places to controls do I have? The action, but it's not from the action. Look at this. Look at this. I have this freaking. Bag full of PlayStation controllers. <laughs> See, all fake controllers, wireless. The fake Ucom controllers is just a freaking nightmare. I just needed to show you. It's a freaking nightmare. Seriously. Okay. Let's continue with the packages. <laughs> oh. Oh yeah, it's really bad. It's really bad. Okay, so what does this say? Okay, um, it says it's a game machine, people. Ooh, it's a game machine. It's going to be quite interesting now. <laughs> yeah, it's like a super controller. <laughs> Yeah, Timothy Rowe, <laughs> but see, the controllers are so chemical and horrible that you don't want to give it away. <laughs> but some of the controllers are decent enough, but most of them are pretty, pretty horrible. Okay, so this one is pretty cool, picked up. Let's see if I can. Okay. All right, so let's see. Mm. Oh, yeah. Mm. Mm. Oh. I try to be gentle on the live stream, but opening these packages can be challenging. And I don't want to destroy everything. Okay, look at this. What? what Classic Arcade Game Station. What is this? I have no idea what it is. Oh, look at this! Yeah, I told them! Ooh. Two uh, packages in one. It was a surprise package. Ooh. Mamma mia! It's a two packages in one! Just like China surprise! I like it a lot! But I have no idea what it is now. This just in what? <laughs> you need a Lenovo MP93P SSF with 16 GB RAM and GT30 updated to uh, display 4K on the scene. Okay. Open this Prime. Um, I think I opened what is it? 15 or some? 16, 17. Uh, I lost count. Eee. Hey, we have another hater. Thank you, buddy.
Okay, so let's check out the first one because I have no idea which one of them is going to be. It's what is it? What is this? Oh, now I. What the hell? Oh, <laughs> it looks different than on the picture. I ordered something like the game station, but it's more like. What is this? This is a completely different case. What the hell? It looks kind of cool, but I'm guessing this is more like the same stuff I ordered 20 times earlier. <laughs> oh man. Okay, yeah, whatever. So then I'm curious what's inside this box. Ta-da! Mamma mia! It's a pie! Toilet paper pie! What? Oh, it... They're giving me a sticker. It's called Game Station. But you need to put it on the case yourself. This looks kind of cool. Wow. Okay, I must say, you can just buy it yourself, make it yourself. But this thing looks kind of cool. Nice. It looks even nicer than on the picture itself. Nice. Yeah, I like it. Uh, Ritro, yeah, both of them. They are both pie versions. All right, so okay. So what I'm going to do? I'm going to put it back in the box, get the back in the box because oh, damn it. All right, so let's do this. Oh man, putting this thing in the plastic bag is just a freaking nightmare. Bibo Pa, I think I mispronounced your name, but the best handle at the moment now. Whew. Yeah, the thing is, where you have different, it depends what you want to do with it. So the retro pockets go to is quite interesting, but also the RG351 is more like a different, two different systems, two different worlds. Oh, okay. I just still need to double check it if it's even going to work. So we're going to put it back in, and we're just going to. Same goes for this one. And the pie. Raspberry pie. I love to say it like Mario voice. Mario. Woo. <sighs> More stuff from China. Okay, let's see. Anthony. Oh, wait, my camera's in the right position, eh? Yeah, I think it's in the right position. Let's do a little bit of reconfiguration. So, yeah. Hey guys, it's now a special in his live stream for the people who just love the noise. You like it, don't you? Mm -mm. Oh, let's go. <laughs> oh yeah, special with the song. Oh yeah, baby. Deacon, Catman, are there any emulators that will play Dreamcast? Um, I think the Pi 4 Reens Dreamcast is pretty decent now, but Saturn games will still be an issue. I did see it on the Nvidia Shield, it did run pretty good in Native Revolution. But when you're going to get some 720p to p stuff, you need to get to a PC at the moment. More like an AMD Ryzen, like a mini PC. But already installed. Oh man, it's going to be tricky. Shh. 
Chicago House King. I spent too much on it. I don't know exactly the amount, but it's going to be into the couple of thousands of dollars. The last, the last month. Because do you know what the main problem is with the China stuff at the moment? It's getting really expensive. Normally I ordered, let's say, $400 and I can make a lot of videos in the upcoming month. But now nowadays all those China packages are getting more and more expensive. Timothy Roller, I have been thinking about it. Just making wicked ASMR. Just because I like it. But yeah, again, I have so many stupid ideas. <laughs> No, I don't. Oh, Yucatec. No, I don't own an N2 or N2 Plus. This is a similar problem that I'm having with all the stuff that I review and check out so much stuff. And it's so time confusing making or yeah, time confusing. Consuming. Blah, blah, blah. Time confuse, <laughs> confusing. Confusing. <laughs> what, what the hell? Brain fart! Wicked brain fart! Yes, but you know what I mean. It's more like that. that it takes up so much time to set everything up and so. The tech guy, what Game Boy should I get Wicked? Yeah, depends what do you mean with Game Boy, because there were so many... Do you want to have an original Game Boy? Do you want to have an, an Pi Game Boy? For the Pi Game Boy, there are so many options out there. It's more like, we have also, there are some Pi 4s. So the Prime did a review about one of them. Uh, LA Saint, yeah, there's a good question. Open Boar, uh, we're working on it to see if can get it on Pandora's box the, with the hack version from Pandora Tool. But I don't know, I did check it out for Street of Rage on the Pi, but I couldn't get it to work. I hope we can, because that means we can Street of, install Street of Rage Remake. But if it's powerful enough for run, that is something we need to check out in the future. Good times, 92. It's always good to see that I can help out people. Yeah, Nvidia Shield is great. It's great. I love it. All I, all I, only thing is it's crazy expensive. Okay, so let's see. What does the packaging say? The packaging says video game. And I can feel there are multiple devices in it because it's freaking heavy. Waka, 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 waka. It's a pack man a pac man you know. Oh. All right, so let's open it up. What is this? I have no idea what it is. We have a package inside. A package. Get it out! I can't get it out. All right, so we're having three packages. We're having. Look at this! It's a surprise. It's a package inside a package. All right, so let's. All right, look, let's see what we're having here. Ah, I can see what it is. I know what it is already. Yeah, the, v, the V90. I was in the early... This, oh, man, I was confused, man. Yeah, I know where you use it. The POW. The POW kitty. Yeah, box master, true. I completely messed it up because I said 450. Yeah, to be honest, I can't keep up sometimes. With specs, with types, and all the names, and... So these are just the controls that came with it because it's more like an all-in-one handheld. And yep, surprise, surprise, we're going to get some controls with it. And you know, if you're just tuning in, I have a freaking basket or a big pile from the action full of these controllers. And are these the chemical ones? The ones that you need to smell? Or better said, don't need to smell. Oh my! They even give you the super, the super, the super deluxe cheaper. Is there something of a piece of plastic falling off? Oh my! Oh! Ah, man, I wish there was a smell and smell sensor on my camera so everybody can smell with me. Because this thing is really horrible. Holy crap! It's super cheap. Ah! Okay, no, no, there was no damage. I was thinking, hey, there was damage somewhere. But this is the special controller. You can see that we're having here the micro USB connection. So that makes this thing extra special. Ah, same controller, same story. Hitos, you, <laughs> you guessed right, buddy. You guessed right. It's indeed the H40. <laughs> he did see it. He did see it. Very nice. Very nice. Ah. Here he is, man. I was waiting for this to review for a very long time. 
Oh, the color scheme. Oh, they they just go away from they did. <laughs> they stopped ripping off the switch. Oh, come on, guys. Let's do a quick unboxing. Just wanted to show you this. Look at this. Seven inches of fun, people. Man, this thing, this thing is really gigantic. <laughs> Oh boy, man, they don't, they don't have any shame over there, aren't they? Look at this here. <laughs> but I like the design of it. It's kind of naughty, but I like it. I like it a lot. It looks like a freaking Pokeball. It's really cool. Oh. Oh, it smells cheap. Okay, guys, so we're going to put this thing back in the box. So, I do like the design of it. I do like the design of it. Michelle van der Mis. <laughs> By the way, buddy, you need to say, don't say the F word or type the F word because YouTube goes all crazy more like, ah, block this, block this. Oh, Poké Vida. <laughs> yeah, that's also a good one. No. Uh, PB Alpha, no, this is not Android based. So far, I know they are based on Linux and they are still using the old shitty freaking software. I would not be surprised. They're doing this for like three, four years now. Okay, next up. But with this live stream, you can already see what kind of products coming up. Uh, I have still a lot of stuff in, in, in my inventory when it comes to videos. Uh, we're going to do another one, the biggest one. We're just going to grab the big ones. Wow, this thing is heavy. <laughs> it says keyboard. So I can say I didn't have a keyboard whatsoever. So I have no idea what they're talking about. Okay, so let's see what people are saying in the chat. Sorry, Wicked, I didn't mean it. Oh, sorry, what? Oh, my Fernando, buddy. Oh, if you're saying the F word, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter, but it's more like YouTube going all crazy with it. The filtering system. I am not mad at you. Oh, no, you don't need to delete, delete the camera. Leave them what it is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Port. <laughs> Bring Ford! <laughs> Which, well, let's see, the tech guy. Wicked, which original Game Boy should I get? Original Game Boy. Um, yeah, depends. Uh, I like the Game Boy Advance for the D-pad, but when you're going to get a custom edition for like say the funny playing that I've reviewed on the channel, I did notice that there were quite some differences between the D-pad. So it's more like, do you like the GBA with the SP screen? Like you can flip over the clamshell design. Rick BKM has a very interesting comment. What's the point of selling the shitty green? Yeah, see that is what I'm asking myself for the last couple four freaking years. They keep freaking selling the same stuff over and over again. I don't know why. It's more like money making machine, baby. Ooh yeah. <laughs> I don't get it either. I don't get it either. All right, guys, next up, another big package, yeah. Let's see what's inside this one. All right. Oh, now I know what it is. This is something I didn't expect to get into quickly. Didn't expect at all. It's the... I can't help myself guys. So this is the new China tablet. You know the fake ones I've reviewed in the last couple of years. This is the latest edition. There were two versions of the normal and the pro. I just ordered the normal one. I just wanted to start with one. I sometimes just do this fake stuff just to see if they're still using the naughty software like... Are they still using the naughty freaking fake software on the Android tablets? And again, I didn't expect that it was coming in. So let's take a close look at it. 
So I'm curious, is this thing looking exactly the same? I did pick a different color this time. Hmm. I'm guessing they are still using the shitty camera. They're still having the double SIM cards in it. Oh, oh boy. So I like to make those videos about the Wish slash AliExpress cheap tablets. Pixel DMG shoulder buttons. Okay. Um, Toko Toko, I'm going to check for you. Wait a moment. Does that show? I think it was not. Nope. Six button at the front and that's it. There are no shoulder buttons with this version. Oh, so we're going to pack it up again. Woo. We've been unpacking a lot of packages from China, my friends. But you can see the pulse is getting very, very tiny now. So we don't only have a couple of them now that we're going to check out tonight. And I'm guessing there is no Super Console X with it today because it's still, still in transit. But I can tell you, my friends, if it comes in, I want to make a review ASTP. I want to just do that. I want to review it. I want to review it. The tech guy says, Wicked, I'm still using the Galaxy Tab A29 you reviewed. Yeah, I love it too. Um, I don't have it. I don't really use it. Uh, to be honest, my parents use it 2016, 2019. Maybe I will do a revisiting because we're using it for a very long time now. Maybe fun to do so, but uh, in the future, it's more like, again, the struggle. What should I review here on the channel? There is so much stuff, like tablets, also interesting. And we're having some good brands, like non-fake versions out there that are also very good. So maybe we'll see in the, we'll, we'll see in the future, man. We'll still see in the future where it brings us. Okay, we're going to grab a smaller one this time. China, package from China, people. Yeah. Hey, Jet, welcome to the live stream. It's time to cut some packages from China. Okay, how do I need to open it? It says, surprise number one. Don't know what it is. I don't understand it. They're just not going to give me the description. I'll always try to open it up very gently because I don't want to. Fuck. I don't want to damage the boxes. Uh, Rodrigo Martins, Wicked Sunday, you will show your retro setup retro. Yeah, I will do so. I'm still working on it. Maybe in the end of the Package for China live stream, I will show you some awesome stuff that we're going to talk about. Um, because I have a lot of great stuff coming up when it comes to retro consoles. And again, the struggle, man, the struggle Wicked family. It's more like Package from China stuff, reviewing original retro handhelds. If I can't go, if I can keep up mentally, I could do basically two up to three day videos a day of the stuff that I want to review. That's crazy. It's too much. Oh man, this guy used so much freaking tape on it. Look, here it is. It's the Poe Katie, baby. <laughs> oh yeah. It's the Poe, Poe, Poe. It's the pokey. Oh man, why do you doing this? The tape on my part. No, Boxmaster, you're not going to be happy. Because you are the master of the boxes. Oh. Optimus Rice say, Wicked, why don't you show us open on the side? How do you mean, uh, how don't you show us the open? Open it on the side. What do you mean with that? I don't, I don't understand the question. Yucatec Patreon. Um, yeah, I have opened up the. I have opened up the membership on YouTube. I can share the link in the description. I want to make a separate video about it. So this is basically the link. If you can click it, you can join the Wicked family here on YouTube. I also wanted to do. 
I also wanted to do one on Patreon, so basically for the people who want to support me, and I want to give them a choice, more like, don't want to force them into patronship. So that's basically why I chose for it both. But I need to set up my page and I have so much stuff to do. So much stuff to do, too much. All right, so let's go deal, I'm packing it. I just want to be gentle. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You can see the result some minor damage on the boxes. I have a lot of bubble wrap at the moment. Gozy D, hey, welcome to the live stream, buddy. Ah, here is the Pow Kitty X20. The handheld a lot of you were requesting. Huh, feels quite heavy. Why are we not going to get a freaking normal D-pad? Wow. Damn, this feels really cheap. Shoulder buttons. The analog sticks, yeah. Which click is joysticks. Oh. Ooh, get an LED over here. Pow, kitty. We're just going to do a semi review of my Wicked family. Just to check it out. Ooh. So this is basically the same software that I've seen before, like the Poe Kitty A13, if I'm saying correctly, that I reviewed quite some time ago. Okay, yeah, we have a lot of stuff going on. Let's see what we're having here. Oh. Four players. There is an HMI connection, so I'm guessing this will work too. So, see, this is a quite interesting product. The quality, it's decent. You got a very nice five inch display. Wicked, YouTube keeps too much for themselves, plus there is a little pro for $5 subscription. Patrons or PayPal is better for a better way. Okay, you guys, so thank you, I know, I didn't know that. I know that, that they're cap taking a, a minor commission, like basically everything, like people giving you money in the live streams. But I would think that concern is, that's also, again, see, now we're having a reason that Bridge and just Patreon just need to get up. And to be honest, the reason why I want to have Patreon is more like, if. It gives more like a more financial freedom in the end, and I get basically buy more expensive stuff to check out. Interesting question. So B Paul Paul says you you ever give stuff away? You know it's cool shit like me. So I just did I did a lot of ref, um, I think monthly giveaways in the past and did work very well. And there isn't. There is still a yeah, there's still a giveaway coming. The 75k. I still need to finish up the video, and more like doing the milestone giveaways. The stuff I'm having here, like the Pauki, I can't give it away because it's way more expensive than pack it up, ship it with DHL or somebody else to a certain country. You can rather drop ship stuff from China. That's way cheaper than sending the stuff that I'm having here. That is another problem that I'm always having. That's the reason why I did in the past the package from. China giveaway. All right, put it back in. Pow Kitty. Did you see it correctly? Pow Kitty. Reporting out. Next up. Oh, it's going to be an handheld, isn't it? Handheld game players. Game players. That is more like different. You know, for the money, you can't complain. No, <laughs> yeah, that's what I was saying. Yeah, what is the other thing I'm with? <laughs> it's just a fact. Some of these things are so freaking cheap. No, let's see what we're going to get. Yep, waka, waka. Oh, oh boy. Do you know that we're doing this live stream for two hours and 11 minutes? How funny is that? Oh boy. I really love, to be honest, I really love to do these unpacking live streams. And it's the K8501. It's basically the LDK landscape edition with 8-bit games. More 8-bit fetish. Yahoo! Oh, a lot of plastic, a lot of plastic. 
Okay, guys, three packages to go. Three packages to go. Three packages to go. Brits C Power. Any place to emulation? There is one system, and that is the. That is the Super Console X version I've reviewed, or better said, that I made a message from the future from. And it's quite interesting. It is in Xenon, a very old version, but it is possible to have PlayStation 2 emulation, or this thing it is. But it's basically just a mini PC inside the box. Retro Invade, welcome to the live stream, buddy. You get yourself an A95X Max Plus TV box, copy the emulic. It's. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, it's indeed in a great way. More like getting a more powerful, more beefcake of a system for lesser money. Hope they put Super Fight on that. Boxmaster, good battery, 90%. What? <laughs> Which battery? <laughs> okay, so let's see what's inside. So you can see, we see that there are two. There are two things in here. It says video game console. Ooh, and the weight's quite heavy. Hey, it's Datafrog. What do I get from Datafrog? Headache. No, just kidding. <laughs> Yuga Tech. Yeah, the one with the percent. That was crazy. Typical channel. Yeah, and, and, man, I'm more like, if they want to make some money, I don't have a problem with it. But if they ask me so much money, so I try to see if I can get one. I can promise uh, they still have Chinese New Year. So maybe after Chinese New Year, I can get one. Get in contact with King Hung Store, was it? Oh, we have a lot of stuff in there. Oh man, it's sticky. Ah. The first one, and again, woohoo, another stick console. The, y the Y3 TV game console from Data Frog or whatever. So, yeah, another stick console. What is the version of this? This is the TV game console Y2. And I have another one, and this is <laughs> another game stick. <laughs> Oh boy, oh boy. So, triple the fun, baby. Woohoo! Triple the fun. Triple the fun. Oh boy, oh boy. Shall I unpack one of these systems just to check it out, guys? Tenny in Japan is smoke and. A pancake, really a common thing there. Yeah, smoke, I don't know what you mean with smoke. You're just smoking it's something we don't see very often anymore in pancakes. Pancakes, yeah. If you mean pancakes, they can eat. They're pretty, yeah. The pancakes. The Dutch pancakes. Don't eat them though, that very often. Because pancakes make you fluffy. What Emily plays do, you just buy a PC Fed drop and say the drive. Safe and S, yeah, agreed. I personally prefer more like getting the original deal. Valentine's soup. Ah, oh, yeah, you you mean this version. Let's open it up. Let's check it out. Just doing quick unboxing. So let's see what we're going to get. And for the money, we can't complain, you know. Does it smell chemical? Yep, but it smells chemical in a good way. So, all right, so this thing is quite interesting. Look at this. It looks quite interesting, yeah. Very thin, very nice. When I say comfortable, but it's quite interesting having the one and the number two over here. D pad is really horrible, it's very sturdy. Rubbery select start and home button. But this is interesting that we got an, an analog stick, it's not a clickish analog stick. Interesting, interesting. We only need one battery over here. So it's quite interesting. I was also looking out for this, more like when are we going to get this? Because I want to review this thing. Going to get an HDMI extension because it's an HDMI dongle. Here we have the Data Frog. Oh, toilet paper metal with some specs. I don't know if it's going to be more like 8 bit fittings all over again or. It seems to be that having more like different systems, like game 1, 2, 3. So I'm guessing you will then go to play some more than only 8 bit stuff.
Okay, so let's clean up. Two packages left. Two packages left, my friends. Two packages. Shall we unpack the smaller one or the big one? It's up to you. Obi fans, Obi Dancy, yeah, we like mayonnaise too. Yeah, absolutely, I love it. I already got some big ones, big ones, small. Ooh, two at once. <laughs> no, 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 we're going to do one. Ooh, we're getting a lot of small ones now. Ooh. All right, we're going to do, like Thomas says, decline. Okay, so the smaller one, it's a box quite heavy. It says game console. I have no idea what it's going to be. Ooh, and it is, and it is. Seriously? Seriously? The Chinese, I order three different systems and they all send me the same one. <laughs> oh my. Is this exactly the same one or what? Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Oh, he also taped it. We're going to do it opening it like this. I just need to do it like this. I don't have a knife with me. I open it now. Oh, this is a nightmare, man. Why? Why are you just typing? Oh, I'm just going to do it like this. All right. <laughs> yeah, but Albert Z, I ordered three different systems and they just sent me all the same ones. Oh boy. See, and this is what happens with China. They think, hey, I think the, the M3S, I mean, the Super Console, hey, they look differently on the. They just look different on, on, the, on the picture, and in the end, you're going to get them and just freaking all the same. Oh, yep, it's the same one. <laughs> okay, do you know what? We're going to grab them all. It's exactly the same one. And I can tell you that, the, do you know what? The reason why I order it, there were a couple of uh, sellers having more like the D pad over here and an analog stock over here. So we're thinking, hey, we're going to buy different ones, different setups, maybe the software will be the same, but it is a different version. But you just send me three the same ones. Oh, wait. And do you know what happens when people do that? Or when the Chinese send me the wrong stuff? It's very simple, my friends. Then we're going to get the whip. Because if you send me something, you are naughty. Are you going to get whipped? Are you going to get some disputes on your ass? Ha! Ah. Oh. But that happens all the time. Then there's also the confusing part about AliExpress. You're ordering something and in the end it's more like it's more like the same stuff. The last package. So today we don't have the Super Console X to unbox. Sadly, I was hoping for it to get it in. Uh, the Pro version, I want to make a review. I just want to check it out for you guys. And also the stick version. Another stick. So this package weighs quite heavy. It just says number one. But I think I know what it is. I think I know what it is. Let me know in the comments. Come on, Ben. What kind of naughty stuff did he send me to today? Hum hum. No, I didn't review it. I just I'm especially unboxing everything tonight. <laughs> uh, 
PlayStation 5. <laughs> well, we can't. <laughs> no, I think it's not a Pandora's box. It's the inflatable girlfriend. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mr. Palmer, that is so naughty. No, no, we cannot accept that. <laughs> but it was funny. <laughs> no, dude, it's not that. <laughs> oh. oh, man, Miss Fiddle XXX. No. <laughs> Big ass controller. Okay, so that's unboxing. I see that a lot of people are not getting close anyway. <laughs> my niece. No, it's not my niece. <laughs> no, not DVDs. LC, I have no idea where to order the new Atari console. I would love to review it, check it, to have it in my collection because this thing's quite interesting. But I have no idea where to get it. Ooh, Toko Toko, 7-inch gaming device. Yeah, you're getting really close. You're getting really close. No, Rich, keep... Oh. <laughs> Super console chicks. Yeah, Proggy Game Frog, that was really funny. Yeah. <laughs> it's a little cheap. <laughs> bleep, bleep, I'm a sheep. I say bleep, bleep, I'm a sheep. That's the first thing that comes in mind, by the way. <laughs> Gorilla glue for your hair. <laughs> Oh, push to a handheld. No, 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 James. I will still want to have some of the PlayStation 2 handhelds, but sadly, they are freaking expensive and I need to ask them to make them customly. And they will be shitty in the end. We know it all. Tam tadam, it is! And 7 inch handheld! Yeah, it's the Pokedu! Alright, so. Oh. I think Retro Core already did a review about it, but yeah, whatever. I don't want to be the first guy, just make the review. I just want to have it in the collection. I just want to show it off. I just want to show it off and see what you're going to get because that is the mission of the Wicked Gamer. Hey, collector. Ooh, Pac Man Scissor. Waka 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 waka. Oh, I need to clean up my room here. Oh, it's one big mess. Oh, we have stock. We have overflow of stock. <laughs> Mike Johnson, no problem, buddy. It's the X21 from. Oh, here he is, man. The game 3001. I've been waiting for this bad boy for some time now, and oh, let's see what we're going to get with this. Let's do a quick unboxing. We have the time. It's the final package from China that we have did an unboxing. Damn, this thing looks badass. So, do you know what this thing looks like? This thing looks like the GXD. Oh, camera problems. Back. <laughs> Did you see the battery life? <laughs> oh, so we're back, man. So it looks kind of interesting. I love this glitter, glossy effect of it. So this thing looks kind of cool. Weighs quite heavy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it 
look better in the. <laughs> I have the spare battery. <sighs> For the people who like it. <laughs> yeah, box buster, no man, I know. I completely forgot about it. Oh, this looks kind of cool. So I never got myself the GXD version because the thing costs 300 US dollars. Let's power it on, and I'm guessing it will run on exactly the same software. Ooh, look at this. Ooh, we got a new intro. Oh, that looks kind of cool. Ooh, the menu looks kind of cool. Oh, they still got it. Byron, I have no idea how much it was. I can't recall it anymore. I think around 60, 70 dollars, so quite expensive. Hey Paul, Paulington, thank you buddy. Yeah, everything goes great here, man. I hope you're well too. No, oh, seriously, you had one of these things? Or you mean a GXV? No, what is other? No file. Okay, I'm guessing you're like an add stop to it. So what we can do is main. <laughs> so we're having the Famicom and they're using Mario Odyssey on it. <laughs> that is just freaking naughty. <laughs> okay, let's zoom in a little bit, by the way. So. Ah, so that's better. Oh, uh, yeah, it has indeed two back buttons. So wah, 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 they filled it again. Oh, they always need to mess something up, don't they? I don't. Is this really comfortable? I don't know, man. I don't know. Oh crap! They mapped the A B X Y to the left joystick. Oh, they did it again. They seriously did it again. What is this? The menu works quite fast. Okay, we'll go back. Oh, there we can we'll go back. So, if you're going to select a game, it goes into a menu. Yeah, it's nothing special. It's just not really special. They still have the ebook, but do we have... They still have the shitty camera, don't they? Can I... Can I make a movie? No, there's more like a test movie. I don't want that. Tools, camera, show me the shitty camera. Wow, look at this. Wow, that is really bad. Going back to 1999. Oh, sh oh crap. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Oh, those Chinese and their freaking horrible cameras in it. Yep, Toko Toko agreed. The, sh the, the view angle is not that bad. Oh, not that bad, not that bad. Yeah, not that bad for the money, but it's still shit. Yep, agreed, RIM PKM, it's a shitty camera. I would have it in 1999 or something like that. Now, Michelle, the X20 and X21, it's not like the X6, don't get confused. It's more like the X6, X9, X12, X16 are more having the shitty software in overall, but we're going to see. Okay guys, so this is the unboxing people. This is the unboxing about the packages from China. I hope you really enjoyed it all. I'm going to put the screen protector back on. Oh shit, I forgot them. You know what, whatever. I just need to check it out. Black Hawk X21. So you can say that we have a lot of stuff from our friends from China and we're going to get a lot of different videos. Yeah, I did see the two that are recycling a lot of stuff. We want the console case, uh-huh. Yeah, Brazer, it's my pleasure, man. It's just awesome that you're all tuning in. We have reached even 250 people, just great to see it. Oh, by the way, before we are going, maybe I can show you something for an upcoming video. That's quite interesting. I think you will like it. Hey, Bad Wolf 66 welcome to the live stream, buddy.
we need to clean everything up. I put everything in my inventory so we make some reviews about it. Alright, so. But what I wanted to show you guys, there was something else. This is going to be a sneak peek, my friends. So I have got a message here in the live stream about this system. So some of you were asking about it. So yeah, the video is coming, I still need to record it. There's a lot of stuff we can cover about this. It's quite interesting. And guys, there was something I want to point out. Don't forget that is that what we're going to do when we're going to I really appreciate that you're watching my videos but don't forget always to leave a comment because then I know who's watching so let's do a close up and close up on the PlayStation this thing looks freaking badass man look at this come also with including with a translucent controller I think this is going to be a badass for you, man. I'm really very happy with this machine. It was a very expensive one to buy, but it's so cool. Okay, we'll still stick around. If you have any questions regarding the product, we can do some more like, and when I say Q and A, uh, maybe fun to doing a little bit of chat chatting. We're already live, so why not, of course. Have to show it in the dark. You mean the PlayStation? I think it's not glow in the dark or something like that. And I can't plug it in at the moment. Everything, every wall socket has been occupied by one of my lining or my cameras. John Collins, I think it is, I think it is. I don't know for sure, as far as I know, it did has have it. It's completely modded in every single way, so. Nothing to do with the package from China live stream, but nevertheless. <laughs> Joe Joe Fong, good question. I have been thinking about it. I don't know if the P3 controllers are good from AliExpress. I know I did spoke with some guys who play, uh, let's say, competition level of, of Call of Duty back in the day, and they say they hated the Chinese controllers. So I'm afraid that there is not a perfect solution anymore. The only thing we can buy like fake versions all the time. So guys, don't forget to give this a like, this live stream buddy. Thank you, Albert Z, for reminding me. <laughs> Bad Wolf 66, no buddy, I don't have that, I don't have that, I would love to have more modded systems like crazy crystal stuff, but I don't have it. Rod Devilion, this is a PlayStation 3 custom, more like custom shell. <laughs> toko Toko, <laughs> the ultra console from China. I think I'm just going to wrap it up, I just wanted to give you a quick look at this. I want to thank you all for joining the live stream. we hit even 250. I did see a lot of famous or familiar faces here on the from the Wicked family. And not to forget, I think they already left the chat, because yeah, they wanted, yeah, they were already doing something else. More like famous YouTubers like Retro Dodo, Retro Future, so cool to see a lot of familiar faces here in the chat like other YouTubers. So guys, thank you all again. Thanks for supporting me, the Wicked family, with the channel. And yeah, I'm doing this full time. So, do you have a transparent egg box? Yes, I have, it's a classic version. By the way, the video comes online tomorrow.
Oh, by the way, guys, don't forget tomorrow or maybe the, the next day after I will upload my giveaway for 75,000 subscribers to the channel. And yeah, you can still join if you want to check it out. Nevertheless, it would be great to see you on the second channel where I upload just gameplay and other stuff. Just want to give it more like in quick highlights. And I will see you in the next Wicked Gamer and Collector video.